The Hawaiian Islands are at the southeast end of the chain of volcanoes that began to form more than 70 million years ago. Each island is made up of one or more volcanoes which first erupted on the floor of the Pacific Ocean and emerged above the sea level only after countless eruptions. Presently, there are six active volcanoes in Hawaii. Welcome to It's Tomorrow News and I am Hena Talati. The 15 volcanoes that make up the eight principal islands of Hawaii are the youngest in the chain of more than 129 volcanoes that stretch 5800 kilometers across the North Pacific Ocean called Hawaiian Emperor Sea Mount Chain. These Hawaii's volcanoes rise an average of 15,000 feet to reach the sea level from their base. The Hawaiian Emperor Sea Mount Chain is remarkable for its length and its number of volcanoes. All of the volcanoes in Hawaii are extinct except for two which are considered dormant and three volcanoes on the big island are active. Two of the world's most active volcanoes, Kilauea and Mauna Loa can be found on Hawaii islands. Mauna Loa last erupted in 1984 and Kilauea, the youngest and most active volcano on the island of Hawaii's last eruption was in 2018. Kilauea, also called Mount Kilauea, is world's most active volcanic mass located on the southeastern part of the island of Hawaii in US. Kilauea means spewing or mud spreading in Hawaiian. Kilauea volcano on the big island of Hawaii is currently erupting at its summit flooding the floor of Hale Mauau crater with the fresh lava flows. Kilauea has been erupting continuously since 1983. Kilauea has been active throughout its history. The bulk of Kilauea consists of the solidified lava flows intermittent with the scattered volcanic ash and tephra sourced from the relatively lower volume explosive eruptions. About 90% of the volcano is covered with the lava flows less than 1100 years in age. This young volcano has more than two dozen craters and amazingly it is probably the world's most active volcano. The central feature of the Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is an elongated dome built of lava eruptions from the central crater. Located along the southeastern shore of the island, the volcano is between 2,10,000 and 2,80,000 years old and emerged above the sea level about 1 lakh years ago. Its most recent eruption began on September 2021. Structurally, Kilauea has a large fairly recently formed caldera as its summit and two active rift zones, one extending 125 km east and other 35 km west as an active fault of unknown depth moving vertically. Like all Hawaiian volcanoes, Kilauea was created as a Pacific tectonic plate moved over the Hawaiian hotspot in the Earth's underlying mantle. Hawaiian islands undergo a systematic pattern of submarine and subaerial growth that is followed by erosion. Following the pattern of a Hawaiian volcano formation, Kilauea started as a submarine volcano gradually building itself up through the underwater eruptions of all alkali basalt lava before emerging from the sea with a series of explosive eruptions about 50,000 to 1 lakh years ago. Since then the volcano's activity has likely been as it is now a continuous stream of effusive and explosive eruptions of the roughly the same pattern as its activity in the last 200 or 300 years. Kilauea built itself up from the sea floor over time and thus much of its bulk remains underwater. Its sub surface is in the form of a gently sloping elongate decentralized shield with a surface area. The southwestern rift zone's extremity is also underwater although its submarine length is more limited. Topographically, Kilauea appears as only a bulge of the southeastern flank of Mauna Loa and so, for many years, Kilauea was thought to be the mere satellite of its giant neighbor, not a separate volcano. 
However, research over the past few decades shows clearly that Kilauea has its own magma plumbing system extending to the surface from more than 60 kilometers deep in the earth. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global updates like this, subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.